Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of April 17th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Let's, let's see what's going on for you uh, this week for you here. Yeah, definitely, um, possibly a lot of stuff from the past. You know, I have the uh, astrology up, and you have uh, Sun trine, trining Saturn um, for Gemini next week. Um, and uh, that can definitely bring in more success, achievements, uh, recognition, and uh, promotions and things like that. Anything having to do with authority and uh, receiving promotions through authority at this time. Uh, you have the six of spades. I do, f I'm not feeling the typical reading. You have two sixes, which is good. Definitely says you're on the right path. I think Gemini's are uh, definitely lined up with uh, what they want at this time. You'll have uh, Mars going into your sign as well on the 19th pushing you towards uh, more success, and uh, I think it makes you more confident. Be careful, I would say, be careful with that confidence. You have the uh, Eight of Clubs this week, which could make you, have you tricking yourself, although I'm, uh, you know, based off the astrology as well, I'm, I'm, I'm not too worried about that, but again, with that card, I would say, you know, just make sure you're double-checking things, and um, make sure you're not feeling too confident, although again, you have like a lot of things I think supporting you at this time. Six of Spades, I feel like you could be seeing a lot of benefits from your past, which again, is not usually what this card means. Uh, but for you this week, I think that's exactly what it means, is that you could have done a lot of things in the past for people, and even possibly things without even being asked. Specifically, if you work at a job, um, you know, you could have kind of picked up a lot of extra responsibilities. You have the Jack of Clubs as well, card of extra responsibilities. So I think you could have done those things, and actually you could be seeing those things pay off at this time, or at least hearing about these things as well. Um, you know, again, this retrograde isn't over. These retrogrades, all of them, aren't over yet. So again, you might just be hearing about it. You might just be learning that you will be seeing a lot of benefits. I also think, actually, for a lot of you, um, there, there could be some of this uh, going on in, the, in relationships as well. You could be seeing somebody come back from the past or somebody that you've been interested in, like a friend or something, uh, coming back into your life. Jack of Clubs definitely represents an admirer. I always think that uh, this represents a fire sign. I always think that uh, Gemini can do really well with uh, Leo in particular, but um, you know, it just depends. Uh, but this could definitely be somebody from your past coming back right now. Um, I also think for some of you, it's just you you feeling very um, motivated at this time. I also think that this card is kind of breaking a lot of you out of your routines. Um, you know, I think that a lot of Geminis maybe have developed a lot of routines in the past. Um, just, you know, kind of looking at these cards here. And uh, even, I mean, just think about it. You have two sixes here this week. You know, the sixth house has to do with daily routines. So I think a lot of you could be uh, changing daily routines and things. Uh, Jack of Clubs is definitely a card of doing that. It's a card of uh, calibration, as I say. It's a card of looking at what you need to be doing for success in all areas of your life in the future and then making those changes now uh, so that you can live successfully. Next, you have the Six of Diamonds. Uh, I do feel like, number one, a uh, very good card, number one. Planting seeds, getting going, going the right direction. But I do feel like that some of you could be experiencing some frustrations around relationships, probably in the sense that they're just not moving forward as quickly as you would like. So I'd encourage you to be patient at this time. But it's also a good card, like I said, of moving forward, of doing the right things, doing things that you need to do to get to where you're going. So definitely like to see that. Uh, again, two sixes, turnaround energy. You could also see how things move forward in a much better way for you uh, this week, or maybe even see how things that haven't worked out for you in the past start working out now. Next, you have the Nine of Hearts, card of wishes, card of getting a wish, very similar to the Nine of Cups in the Tarot. So great card for wishes and getting a wish. Also can represent an ending of relationship cycles. You could be experiencing new relationship cycles at this time. Um, and a uh, great card for ending of all cycles as well. I mean, it could even be at work. It is it is mostly like a wish card, love card, but it could be, again, it could kind of strengthen that uh, the message about promotions, receiving promotions at this time. Uh, seven of Hearts coming up next. Again, uh, worries about love or love just not going in, in the way that you would like. Uh, even if you are in a relationship, maybe there's some confusion in the relationship or you're just not sure how things are going. I would say give it time. Uh, you know, Nine of Hearts is a card of going with the flow. Just kind of like seeing where things go. I would also say with the Seven of Hearts, be careful of arguments if you are in a relationship. Uh, you know, don't start any arguments, don't get involved in any arguments, just let it go, um, because this is definitely a card of, you know, turning something really tiny into something major that it doesn't need to 
uh, turn into. So just try to avoid arguments if you can. And finally, you have the Eight of Clubs. Again, I do feel like there could be some confusion. So again, um, I, I would say the danger for Gemini, and actually I would say Gemini and Virgo. I know I know that you guys aren't necessarily um, like the same or anything, but it definitely seems to be a message that I get for both sides um, that things might not look exactly you know, I think things are going to look different than, than the way that you have them in your head. So just be open to um, the way that things work out. And I, I know that's very general, but on a very general level, it could be at work, business, love life, spirituality, whatever. Um, again, you know, you could have this vision of how you want your relationship to go or um, how you want your job to go. And uh, this is definitely part of removing all attachments and just allowing things to kind of go how they want to this week. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Uh, but it looks like an awesome week, actually, really. Uh, definitely a lot of turnaround and, and uh, ending of cycles, which is nice. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.